just filmed this video, but I'm gonna refilm because I didn't like the lighting. Okay, so this is like my fourth, fifth, this is my fifth time filming this video. I have to film with my front facing phone camera because it wasn't working with the normal camera I use, plus my storage keeps going out. We're just gonna go with this. The lighting might be bad because my my light wouldn't work either. So today is November 30th, which means it's time for my November wrap up where I talk about all the books I read in November. So disappointing, I only read six books, which is pretty good for some people. It is so hard knowing I used to read 11 books a month and for some reason six is just like, I cannot get past six books a month. I think if you like watch all of my other wrap ups, I they're all just six books. So yeah. Maybe for my New Year's resolution, I will do better, but I'm also starting a job. So now we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna try to go in order from what I remember. And yeah, so the first book I finished was The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And this is a fantasy book about two magicians who have to battle out and they use a circus. So the circus appears and they battle within the circus kind of. Um, this was three stars, super long, super boring. Um, it f it's in third person. And it also follows like three different timelines and you're like waiting so long for them to like interfere like these timelines and you're like how do these all add up and it's just like it's super underwhelming. I feel like they could have gone so much like bigger with the story. I don't understand how people love this book. I'm like it was underwhelming for all that build up. I just I don't know. I wish there was more. I did like the feel of the book. It takes place in the late 1800s so I did like the atmosphere of it and also it takes place in like London and all of these um European countries um but yeah that's really it and it also does take place in America it takes place literally everywhere but yeah they're like they're English characters so that's really it I didn't really like it three stars reminders of him for a YouTube video where my mom picked my next read and she picked reminders of him I really like this book it takes place no uh, it follows a mom who just gets released from finishing her sentence in prison, her five-year sentence, and you find out why she was sentenced, what happened, and it's really just like a big miscommunication because she never really like stood up for herself, um, and she never told her side of the story because what happened was so traumatic that she was shocked, and um, she gets out and she's trying to find her daughter that she had in prison, and when she finds her, she is trying to get a relationship with her not so much like get her back but just be in her daughter's life and it's so good it's so sweet um it's also like about a grieving process because you see what happened that landed her in prison and you're just like oh, i cried when she got reunited with her daughter diem like colleen just has like the best names i just like just... all of colleen's naming stuff that she uses for her books her sons all of them she is a goddess when it comes to naming things and naming people. Okay, so I read that one four and a half, five stars. So I buddy read this book with my cousin. She didn't end up finishing it, but I did. Um, I completely understand why. It's strictly like character based. There is a plot, but it's not like a, you know, a very um, captivating plot. It's sad, and especially for what my family went through this year, it is relatable in the worst way. Um, so this is about a couple, Lauren and Josh, and it's taking place with kind of two timelines whenever it's in Lauren's point of view it's before her death and her writing to either her father or Josh um she's writing to Josh about uh, just like letters to him to keep him going um after her death and in Josh's point of view it's him reading these letters and doing the things that she asks him to do and it's just so good because you're watching him grow him like find the will to live after her death finding a new life and everything and it's just so good um I think it took me like halfway through it to like realize that there's nothing gonna there's nothing like coming in the plot like I just had to accept and just appreciate what I was reading because the entire time before I realized that I was just like looking for the big plot twist the big change and honestly that's just not what this book is about this book is simply just character based and watching him as a character grow and I think I just had to realize that because I was just like disappointed but once I realized it wasn't coming I think that that's when I started to appreciate the text more so I rated this one four and a half five stars and I would recommend but it is very sad um and again just with my family I just think that what we were going through it hit a little close to home um even though Josh lost his wife I lost my brother so it was a difference but 
I still understood what he, what he was feeling and I was like, damn, that hurt. So yeah, I would recommend, again, four or five stars. I started reading Corrupt, which is the first book in Devil's Night by Penelope Douglas. Complete 180 of a type of story <laughs> or the type of book. Um, but yeah, this is a dark romance and it's the first dark romance I've read. And let me just say, these books are not for everybody. I think reading after reading it, I'm definitely more of a soft, cushy um, rom-com person. But reading this book, it was like the first book that really captivated my attention. Like I felt like I was in the story. Like I could, my imagination was just like very open, you know, like I could picture the setting and everything so vividly. I think that was the first time that that's happened to me in a long time because I flew through these books and they're like 500 pages each. So yeah, I read, Cor I read Corrupt and Corrupt is about Rika and Michael and the book is going back and forth three years in the past in the present and three years in the past Rika's in high school and it is Devil's Night which is the night before Halloween and on Devil's Night there are the three like older boys they're now in college they pretty much do this thing where they do whatever they want and they're rich boys they don't get in trouble with the law because it's a small town nobody cares honestly but they do like some very crazy things and she's always been captivated by them and she's also kind of like in love with Michael who is her childhood friend or like family friend and she pretty much lives at his house so it's kind of that like um family friend or I think it was good so pretty much she gets like captivated by them and she ends up following them on Devil's Night and they they catch her and they take her under their wing and she kind of becomes part of the horsemen which are the four boys that want that run Devil's Night but then it goes in the present and you're seeing that they all don't like her anymore. They all hate her. They're planning their revenge against her. And you're like, what happened three years ago that changed everything? Like, they don't like her. She's scared of them. Like, what happened? And you kind of see it and what happened three years ago that made everything change. And it was definitely, like, surprising. I think if you really looked into it, you probably could tell, like, it was a little predictable. But... I didn't because I honestly was just too enthralled in the words to really think about what the reasons might have been. Um, but yeah, so I definitely liked it. I think I rated it like three stars being good. Three stars in a good way because it's definitely not my type of book. I don't like the steamy parts that much. Um, honestly, I'm more of a closed door girl. But other than that, I did like it. And um, yeah, you just have to get over that these men don't have any redeemable qualities they're just like morally gray they're not really good characters but once you get over that i think they're pretty good um then i started and finished one day in december by josie silver and this is a holiday book the first holiday book i'm reading this year and this is about a girl her name is Lori, and Lori is on a bus when she looks up and out her window and at the bus stop there's a man sitting down but it's not his bus so he's not getting up but they make eye contact and it's instant love. No, I know what you're thinking. Instant love. Who likes that kind of book? I think they did it really well, or the author did, because it's not like instant love, there's a connection, like that would be so boring. It's more like a very slow burn, even though you already know they're in love with each other, it's just like there's a reason they can't be together. And it literally takes place within nine years, this book. Years, I know. And I think that's like the slowest burn, like Mariana's Zapata books are really long but I think they all take place in like a few years maybe a year but this is nine years like oh it's so crazy but anyway I really like that book it's good and you find out why they can't be together and all this stuff and it's definitely holiday-ish um and they also have like new year's resolution if anything I feel like this is more of like a new year type of book because it goes by years and I mean they're, they meet at a Christmas party and stuff like that so it's I mean it's kind of Christmassy but I'd say more like a New Year's type of book, if that makes any sense. Lastly, I completed this book last night, and again, on my Kindle, and that was Hideaway by Penelope Douglas, the second book in Devil's Night series. And this one is about Kai, which is Michael's friend. Um, it's a, I wouldn't, I don't know if you'd say they're connected standalones or interconnected standalones, because I feel like you need to read Corrupt in order to kind of understand Kai. Um, but yeah, so this is about Kai and Banks, and I cannot really tell their story without giving away, um, corrupt so I would just read them in order but yeah I think this one was so long it was 530 pages on my kindle and whew, it took forever to finish I read it and completed it at 3 a.m last night so yeah I think I would rate this one three stars as well but I am definitely continuing on with the series I'm just a little nervous about the next book because 
it's about a character I don't particularly love, so I hope he redeems himself in this next book. So we're going to see and maybe I'll read that one next. That's all the books I read and oh my god, my <laughs> it's such a mess. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Scrunchy paper that I use to wrap and my seaweed I plan on eating while I edit this video. <laughs> um, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my TikTok where I post more frequently and better quality videos. And yeah, these are all the books I read in November and I will probably be doing my December TBR, so stay tuned for that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'll see you guys somewhere else. Bye!